Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining me for another tech tip. I think we can all agree that YouTube is one of the greatest resources on the planet, but I'm sure that we can also agree that YouTube is filled with distractions and can lead to a lot of time wasting. And one of the biggest culprits is this little side panel here at the right. This is meant to allow you to watch other videos that are somewhat related to the video that you're currently watching. We'd like to call them related videos. Now, wouldn't it be nice to just make this disappear, this whole side panel? Uh, just have it disappear so that you can watch one video and not go down rabbit holes and binge watch, leading to a lot of wasted time. I'm going to show you two of the most common ways to get rid of the YouTube side panel. The first way is just with the stroke of a keyboard key, go up to the address of the YouTube video and place a dash right after the T. So you don't actually divide U and tube, but instead you put it right after the T, between the T and the U. And then go to the end of the address and press the Enter key. When you do this, it will start playing the video. It will add this nocookie.com to the address, and then it will play the video without the side panel. From here, you can also copy the link and send it on to someone else. Now, in full disclosure, if you were to press the space bar, you will still see related videos pop up at the bottom instead of over here at the right. So anytime you stop during the video, these videos will pop up. So this is definitely not a foolproof method of getting rid of distractions. It will also not zap any of the ads that may play before the video. So this is definitely not the ideal solution to this problem. So I'm going to show you a solution that I like better. It's a Chrome extension called Unhook. I'll open up a new tab and do a Google search for Unhook extension. And you can see it right here, Unhook, remove YouTube recommended videos. You'll add this to Chrome, and you can see I've already added it. And then right up here in the top right corner on the extensions button, just click on it, scroll down until you find it, and there it is right there. I'm going to click on this little push pin and make it blue. When the push pin shows blue, the unhook extension will then be added to your extensions bar and you can then click on it and set it up. Now I'll close out of this tab and go back to YouTube. And since I already copied that video, I'll just paste it in. It still loads up this list here at the right. So I'm going to click on the unhook extension and you'll see that unhook right now is off. If I wanted to turn it on, I click this button right here in the top right corner of the extension. And now I have all of these options. I can hide live chat. I can hide the playlist. I can hide the home feed. Most importantly, I can hide the video sidebar. See the difference? I can also hide the redirect to subscriptions. I can hide comments. I could even hide video information, the shorts tab, and I can disable autoplay, which is another distraction. So you can see how helpful the unhook extension is. It's a great way for teachers to get rid of unwanted videos that show up at the right and eliminate the excessive binge watching. And you can also recommend it to students if they're allowed to add extensions to their Chrome browser. It just eliminates that urge to constantly watch one video after another, after another, after another. So take a look at the Unhook extension and see if it helps you. And thanks for joining me again for another Tech Tip.